Zoom, the world's first device on Android 3.0 Honeycomb, uh, completely re-engineered for the tablet experience, includes a 10.1 HD display, has HDMI out, two cameras, front-facing webcam, and also a 5 megapixel camera that's capable of uh, shooting HD quality uh, video, dual LEDs flash, and two uh, speakers. The software's not uh, completely finished yet, so I'll do a couple of demonstrations of its capabilities. Basically, all of the Google services have been overhauled for, uh, for Honeycomb, including starting with the most popular thing people want to do on tablets is browse the web. So I now have these scrollable widgets right available on the uh, home screen to get to my favorite websites uh, faster. So I'm calling up a, a makeup website here. I've opened a new tab, so I've got multi-tab browsing, uh, first time available on uh, Android multi-tab browsing. It supports Adobe Flash 10.1, so all of those websites that I most, most regularly go to they include Flash, uh, I can use uh, on this site. So all of these videos will play right in line straight from the browser. I have the usual bookmarks from Android, but a lot more real estate to save those bookmarks. And again, they're flickable, um, scrollable bookmarks. And then we have this new incognito mode, which enables me to switch off all of my browsing history. So that's a brand new uh, web browser experience. Um, great for uh, video consumption. So here's an example of uh, Despicable Me playing back in HD. So this is like ripping my plasma screen TV off the wall and taking it with me. It's actually an HD 7.2 display rendering back uh, full HD. What's the battery life? Battery life is uh, 10 hours of continuous uh, video playback on web browser. Yep. Uh, the highest the highest battery drain is from video playback, so you'll get even more from that. Depends what you're doing with the browser, but at least 10 hours. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And this is a new ebook service. Uh, so uh, over 3 million books now available on uh, Google eBooks. Again, I have these widgets available to me on my home screen. I can flick through all of the books that I've got and downloaded, and I can read them straight from my home screen. It will remember where I left the book off, not just on this device, but also on my Android handset or indeed the web at uh, my PC. Really nice interfaces. I'm scrolling through my books. Well, what's the problem oh, yeah, of the book? What's the what? You have to you use for you. It's a power, power consumption. Ten hours of continuous playback is uh, what, we, what we stated. Uh, call up Google Maps again. So again, no hard keys. You'll see no hard keys on the, this device. So first Android device without any hard keys. It's all touch based. Um, what about I/O ports? What kind of connectors are supporting? So in terms of connectors, we. We've got the micro uh, USB okay. uh, for data, so that's only data, it doesn't support charging. Then we have HDMI out, so I can output and mirror mode this uh, straight to a larger plasma screen TV. Again, if I'm capturing HD video, I want to be playing it back from... That's the mini HDMI. That's, uh, yeah, the D connector, which is for mobile. Okay. Uh, then I have these uh, Pogo uh, connectors for the dock, uh, so charging during the dock. And then a barrel connector for regular charging straight from Okay. So, so, and that's about it, right? In terms yeah. of that's it. Uh, we obviously have the 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Okay. There's also an SD card support, although that will be uh, upgradable uh, from launch. Won't be supported at launch. So Very I cool. can dock, dock my uh, device um, and charge it straight from the dock. Okay. We also have a dock that's uh, got USB connectors, uh, so I can also hook this up to a, uh, a full, um, keyboard with. Uh, what about uh, the DCMI out? Does it support the same stuff that the, that the phone that you can hit up the monitor and then use the full Firefox uh, browser? And stuff? No, yeah, no, okay. So this is plain Honeycomb, not that's that's your web webcam. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and it's Google Experience Honeycomb. So, right. so, so you so can. The world's first device on Honeycomb, yeah. uh, no other device available. It's 10.1 inch HD display. 12, 1280 by 800. 
Oh, what are you? 1280 by 720? 1280 by 800. Okay, cool. So it's technically uh, 16 by 10, and it plays music back in 16 by 9. Okay, and so we're going... So you can see here, uh, you get a, a, a slight bar at the bottom, which is uh, really for your uh, menu. Yeah. Uh, this is um, and we, we, we can expect it our... Q1 this year. Okay. Let me just touch it so I can call my video a hands on. Yeah, you touched it. Thank you. Everybody touched it. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much. It's actually for Network News. So come with a new Motorola Zoom. Thanks for watching. It's really crazy here, yeah. Thank you.